All right, tell you, hey there champs. Now, today I'm gonna to be reviewing this little beast here. I'll just have to give you a look at my little project here, little sneak preview. We'll be making videos on this water cooled build here. Oh, it looks epic, I think. Um, it's my first water cooled build. So be gentle on me. There's a few things I've got to do, like white cable mods and etc. You'll see that later. Anyway, the thing I'm here to review now is this Acer. What is it? 20 XF. Here it is. XF 27H gaming monitor. 27H gaming monitor, should I say. You know, plastic build. But this thing was cheap, okay? So I picked this up for like 420 Australian, around 3 20 us maybe something like that and this is my new setup i haven't set things up i've got to do some cable management beautiful thick bench there custom made um timber top there anyway so excuse the mess here for the moment so let's have a look at the box here's the box and as you can see it's a 27 inch monitor 1080p full hd you can get a 1440p version and a g-sync version i think but much more expensive and the reason i bought this is because it was cheap 144 hertz there one millisecond response it is a tn panel and just have a look here that's a 27 inch monitor it is a big monitor look how small it looks compared to a 43 inch monitor unbelievable right unbelievable well, another thing to note this does have sound <laughs> the sound is pretty poor like it's tinny it's i don't know it's not good but i will say that at least it does have sound so that's a bonus and why did i buy this i review a lot of monitors and i will leave the link in the description to what i think are the two best gaming monitors if you're like a pure gamer the alienware 25 inch um, 240 hertz monitor that's if you're a competitive gamer and i think it's the pa 27 something the asus monitor that's what i recommend if you like 1440p you're not competitive because you've got to remember that competitive gamers they always use 1080p monitors because they want the most frames and they want the highest refresh rates and as it stands now with graphics cards if you really want those high refresh rates you have to go 1080p because 1440p even if you're using the titan xp you know some games you're not going to get 240 hertz for example on pubg or 240 frames per second on pubg with a titan xp it doesn't matter what system you have so and as i said the only reason i bought this monitor is because it was cheap and i know that this year i am going to spend a significant amount of money on a display and at the moment i just want to wait to see what sort of hdr monitors come out like i'll probably get a 1440p because that's sort of like the sweet spot in terms of um gaming frame rates and what the graphics cards can put out and just getting that 144 hertz which is like the perfect sweet spot for hertz i don't need 240 i think 1440p is the sweet spot but i want a hdr monitor so i'm going to wait until the hdr monitors come out and this will do in the meantime and for something so cheap look at it it's not nothing fantastic here it's you know plastic build okay and as i mentioned here you can twist that over 90 degrees if you like 90 degrees well, let's go another two degrees come on 90 degree there so you can see that and also of course you get the tilt and height adjustment Um, so that's pretty cool I can flip it over I use it as a secondary monitor for Premiere Pro and stuff like that and with TM panels you don't get the great viewing angles and stuff like that it's not as good as IPS you know it's not as sharp the colors aren't as good the viewing angles aren't as good just IPS panel is better <laughs> when it comes to gaming and especially if you want the best refresh rates and um, the best performance for gaming aesthetics aside TM panels are the best because they have the fastest response. I mean, typically an IPS panel will only give you five milliseconds response compared to one millisecond. That's five times faster, isn't it? So 
you can get high refresh rate IPS panels, but you're not going to get that response time that you get with TM panels. And I can tell you now, for color work or video editing, I wouldn't use this monitor. Like even the text doesn't look like really good either. Like if you've got fine text, it doesn't look fantastic. The, you know, the highlights tend to be blown out with these TN panels and they're not the best aesthetically for viewing, but you forget all of that when you game. And when you get that super connected, super, you know, smooth gameplay with the TN panels and you're looking at the TN panel just front on, it's like fantastic. It is the best gaming experience and the games look good actually. I'll show you a gaming later, but they actually look good. As you can see here, we have USB-C on the side. If I just lift this panel over there, we can see that you have the downstream there or the upstream for the USB. You have another two USB 3s. You have audio in, audio out, HDMI and display port and DVI. So you got everything you need. Remember that this is not an expensive monitor, but boy, is it good for gaming. I really do love it. You know, there are better models as I have reviewed, 100%, but for the price, it is fantastic for gaming. I really do love gaming with it. As I said, I wouldn't do any color work with it. If this was my primary monitor, I would not use it, but for gaming, it is fantastic. You have the on-screen display thing here. Um, head rec, okay. I suspect that this is actually using the Predator um, panel. There you go. I don't even know what I've done then. What's it doing? No video input. Hello, wake up. Wake up computer, okay. <laughs> oh, now another computer's opened. Anyway, let's go through this on-screen display thing. It's an absolute head wreck, okay. It's clunky. Um, it took me like ages just to figure out how to change the display port to HDMI or whatever or the inputs. I will say one thing that's good about it is it automatically, if you turn one computer off and you have another one connected to it, it switches over automatically, which I do like. You of course here have gaming mode on and off. I don't, I turn it off. It doesn't make a difference to me. I can't tell the difference to be honest. I suspect, again, this is probably using Predator Panel and, and some sort of Predator Tuner. Here it is, an Acer product. And you can go in there, change the overdrive. I just leave it on normal. I've just messed around with the settings. So you can go to these settings here and mess around with black levels and brightness contrast. These seem to be the sweet spot settings for me, um, what I like. But um, overall, I would say this. So it's just clunky. It's like, I don't even know. Jesus! Just... I hate it. Um, yeah, it's just a bit clunky. I prefer if it had like sort of that, you know, nipple on the back or the joystick. It's just easier to go through the menus. You get used to it though. And once you set it and forget it, you know, it's not such a big issue. You don't have to worry anymore. But let's see how it games and my experience. How does it feel gaming? All right. So let's game on this beast. And as you can see here, we are running at... 144 hertz yeah baby 144 let's go what am i going to play what do you think i'm going to play i'll just start up after game two boom i think that stock by the way i'll just show you um this is a Titan X in here, okay? Titan X, Pascal. Um, and just shows you what kind of graphics card you need to get really high frame rates on certain games. Like games like Overwatch and stuff like that, you're gonna get your 240 hertz, 1080p. But even a Titan X, 1080p, you're not gonna get much over 140 frames, 144 frames per second. So at 1080 it's just amazing isn't it all right let's go baby and you can probably hear the sound i will change the sound i will change the sound so it's coming out of this uh, monitor itself 
Uh, it's coming out of the monitor now and I'll turn it up to about 40 so you can hear the actual monitor. So that's it. The sound isn't good, but um, it's acceptable, I guess, when you consider that you're probably going to be using a headset or whatever. And also, you know, it's great that it is actually built in the sound. And as you can see, to me, this looks fantastic, this game. Like, a lot of people bag TNs, but the games look fine. I mean, this is like um, high settings. Everything else is on very low. High settings, textures, uh, anti-aliasing on high, and view distance on high. All the rest are very low. But, I mean, PUBG's not the best graphical game out there, but it still looks good. And even though this is only going, what, 100 frames per second, it's super silky, super smooth, super connected. It just feels epic gaming. Also, I've got a lot of light coming in behind this display, and the reflections, they're not even an issue. It is a matte coating on this um, display, and the reflections, what reflections? I don't even see any, and you've got to remember, I've got sunlight coming in at the back of it. I mean, it's not the brightest day here today in Melbourne town, but still, um, well controlled reflections and the game looks fantastic, I mean, it looks good. I mean, an IPS panel is going to look better, but you're not going to get that, you know, one millisecond response and you're not going to get the hertz that you want. I mean, you can get IPS 144 hertz, but if you want to go higher, 240, you have to go TN. So. Alright, Hacienda, that's where we go baby, always the Hacienda, I don't really like this map, let me know down there in the comments, do you actually like this map, oh, I hate it, um, me and Dodgy, we don't like it very much, but we are going to the Hacienda, let's see how long I last, let's go baby, Whoop. looks like everybody's going to Hacienda, Yeah, and it's really popular, the Hacienda, and I like going to the mansion in the other map, or um, mansion on the container yard, one of the container yards. This is just like full on. I mean, have a look. Have a look at that. Silky smooth, though. Ooh, look how many people are here. This is like head wreck. All right. I'll just go in the outskirts so I don't die straight away. Usually, I'll go in the big building. Ooh. So a Titan X 1080p, I'm only getting more than 100 frames per second. It's shocking, isn't it? I mean, they've really got to optimise this game a bit more. So, oh, hello, it's already started. Oh, hello, he's going to kill me, is he? Let's see if I can smack him on. Come on, baby. Don't run, you coward. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. That was a nice kill there. 144 hertz saved my life. Holy crap, I've got an 8 times scope, but no gun. But yeah, when you're in fights like that, if you've got a 60 hertz monitor, mate, by the time it refreshes, you're dead. Like, it's just like watching Jello. Ooh. But this is super silky smooth. I need some health. I need some health. Um, have I got any? Oh, I've got painkiller. What have I got to do with eight times? Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm going for glory, but what I can say is I'm getting 100 frames per second and look, whoo, silky smooth. I love it. I really do like this monitor and for the price, I cannot complain. Um, definitely, you know, cool what, $400, just over 400 Australian, probably, you know, just over $300 US. It's a pretty good deal, I think, and when you consider, I'm going to die straight away, I've got no health, but um, when you consider that, you know, the only other monitors at this sort of price range are Korean stuff that half the time you've never heard of, and uh, those AOGs, they're not bad, but I mean, Acer or AOG, I oh, know which one I'm picking, so I'm gonna die here. My automatic lover, my number one. Oh, health, health. 
That'd be good. Oh, hello. Just updated me game. Okay, hold on. I think he wants to play. Um, yeah. I'm not going to last long with no best. Okay. But look at this silky smooth. Fantastic. Alright, let's go. Where is everybody? We are recording, aren't we? Yep. Oh. Hello, someone died. I want to get in close. Holy crap, where'd that come from? I have no idea where that come from. The speakers are not that good that you can tell where the, um, the sound's coming from. The hell's going on there? What? Oh, two kills! Come on! Oh my god! They are so crap. I haven't even got a vest, and they got level three helmets and stuff. They are the crappest players in the world. What do I want with another eight? I cannot believe they did kill me and I didn't even have a vest, helmet, anything. What a bunch of sad cases. That has got to be the biggest fail. Uh, eight times, another one. Mm. Mm. Uh, all right, that's the. Cannot believe it. I would be absolutely cursing right now. Oh. Right, come on, where he's at? Come on, fellas. There are the only two left, you're kidding me. Sitting there hiding in the toilet with level three helmets. You should be ashamed of yourself. Where is everybody? Okay, I'm just gonna wrap it up now. As you can see, silky smooth gaming there. It is fantastic. Come on. Where is everybody? Um, yeah, it's epic to game with this. Um, and I love it. Oh, no one around. Can you believe that? I cannot, I still can't believe it. Oh, here we go. Ah, it's not much I can do without any um, protection there. Anyway. Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.